Hi everyone, it's James. Today I'm going to show you how to send money to your bank in your foreign country. So uh, this application is from Sumitomo Mitsui Banking Corporation. Okay, and when you go into the bank, there's always someone standing by ready to help you, especially if you're looking for um, uh, slips. You're going to need this form called Gaikoku Soukin, which means foreign remittance. When you go up to the staff, you say, Sumasen, Gaikoku Soukin shitai desu kido. I want to send a foreign remittance. And they'll probably ask you, how much do you want to send? So you're going to have to know how much you want to send. You have to explain it to them in Japanese or just have it written down. You have to clearly tell them how much you want to send from which currency to what currency. It helps to have a Japanese speaker with you, but if this is private, you don't want anyone to know. I mean, if you don't want your friends or uh, your Japanese friends to know how much you're sending, then you're on your own. But um, if you think you can communicate in Japanese by yourself, then go for it. So. Um, other banks might have a different application, but basically that's what you'll say. So let's take a look at the application itself. Um, there's English and Japanese. Over here, you will write your family name first, then your given name. And over here, it says applicant. You will do the same thing. Write your family name first, then your given name. In block letters. Then you will write your Japanese address over here. You can write it in Romaji or in Japanese. It's up to you. Over here, you will write your telephone number, okay? You don't need anything down here for the reference number. This area is for your foreign bank. Here, you will need the SWIFT code for your bank. You need to know your bank's transit number here. So whatever the branch code is, and then the transit number here. Then you need to write the name of your bank, the address of your bank. Here's the city and state of your bank and the country of your bank. Leave this blank. Then down here in this box, who are you paying the money to? Where do you want the money sent to? If you're sending it to yourself, which is the ideal thing to do, you will write your foreign bank account number here. So whichever bank you're using in your foreign country, you will write your full name here. However, it's displayed in your bank book. Then you will write the address of your foreign bank here and the country and the telephone number. Okay, I'm going down. Over here is the purpose of remittance. You should check others. Then write the word savings. You don't want to arouse suspicion. Okay, then you're going to check this box right over here. Then, um, I know this sounds a little funny. They're going to give you another sheet. I don't have the sheet with me about sending money to North Korea. It says Kita Chosen. You're not funneling cash to them, right? So check that and that, okay, you're not, <laughs> okay? Just believe me, just check these two, okay? And then it says type of remittance, you will check this, okay? And then for this box, advice and credit, you will check the top box. Over here, currency and amount, you need to write what currency you want your money to be in on the receiving side. So if you're sending it, let's say, in Canada, you would write CA for Canada and then the amount. Uh, let's take a look at this box over here. It says yen equivalent. Let's pretend that you want to send, let's pretend you want to send 1,700,000 yen. You would write the yen mark here. Here's the yen mark. And then one million seven hundred thousand and then you would write ca over here for canadian currency you want it in canadian currency so from japanese yen to canadian currency you can ask the bank to convert this into canadian dollars they'll tell you and then you would write the canadian equivalent over here let's pretend it's nineteen thousand dollars all right, just pretend. And then you will check this box over here. Paying bank charges, yep. Yeah. Uh, by the way, this is not going to be cheap. It's going to cost you at least 5,000 yen to do this transaction on this side in Japan and then whatever your bank charges you for the receiving end. 
Okay, and then nothing here. Over here it says debit account. You will check this futsu over here. You will write your bank account number. Your Japanese bank account number goes over here. All right. And then payment for bank charges. You will check futsu, right? You will check futsu here. Then write your Japanese bank account again here. And that's it. One more very important thing that you need to know is that you need to have my namba. It's a card that's given to residents in Japan. If you don't have a my number card, there's no way to send any kind of foreign remittance. Forget it. So well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.